Hi friends, it's Saturday, November 15th, 2014. Lynn and Jamie here, continuing our assignment. The instructions for today's intention are very simple. To do what is ours to do to trigger the awakening right now. And with that, it begins. And I feel like I'm a sparrow on a cafe table. Yes. Just hopping around on a the table. A sunny little table. And the, the, the people who are seated here are looking at me uh, amused. Yeah. They're amused and, and helpful. And they're giving me little... Bits of coffee cake. Yes, crumbs. And, and a little s twig to climb up yeah. on. And they're just having fun with the bird. Yes. They were talking about more serious matters, and then the bird of us hopped up on the table, and it kind of broke yes. the tension. Yes, it was getting pretty intense. It was. And now they're glad to just play with the bird for a little bit. Yes. I see that executive woman, the executive, yeah. she's here, and the movie man. Yeah. It's like three teams have come together. The executive's yes. assistant seems to be here in a supportive That's capacity true. for the meeting as a whole, maybe. I don't know. That could be. But these are definitely from three different areas. Of expertise. Yes. And they're trying to figure out how to accomplish a goal, a common yes. goal. It's on all of their uh, agendas. Yes. And now they're at the intersecting point yes. where their work uh, comes together and I can see the drawing of the top and then the arrow that goes to the drawing of the bird yes. and then an arrow that goes to the drawing of the third thing how may we yeah. be of service to trigger, trigger the, the awakening, awakening right, right now. now how may we be of service to trigger the awakening right now well, one of them says I think it's the executive says well little bird are you fully a real bird no. No, I still have some metallic thing elements. on one side of me. Metallic elements inside. Most of my outside seems to be real bird-like. Bird -like. So there are at least two areas that are still Metal. metallic. And maybe more. We don't know. We're, we're aware of these two. Yeah. How do we get them out? We don't get them out. Ah, we That's transform true. them. Ah. That's true. What are they supposed to be? That's a good question. The foil wants to be that thing that, that it's supposed thing. to be. That's true. It wants to be that organ. It's a precise organ. It is. They might be two different precise organs because they're two different crinkled up strips of foil. Well, the one in the back seems to be part of the nervous system. I, I, I might have that wrong, but it seems like it's a missing part of the wiring. It's an important link right. that's missing right now. So let's just link it up. I see where to link it yeah. up. And now current is flowing through it. It does feel electrical in nature. It does, and it was like plugging it into a socket. Yes, and I'm reminded of how it feels in this dimension when we are in fact touching target to target. Zip, it's like we've completed a circuit and that's current true. runs through. It has that same sensation of zip. That's true. Just completed a circuit and now current is running through. So they say, what do you know? Well, I know that there are, are two things I've been working with in the energy body. One is that completing that circuit uh, and getting the current to flow. That's and the true. other is to be straightening up so we're even pointing in the right direction. That's true. So maybe this other, ah, ah. Maybe this other device is some kind of like navigational device. Do you know how birds will migrate and they know where they're going? That's true. Maybe this is the migratory device, the <laughs> sonar. That could be. This third person, maybe it's Australian. Oh, we used to work with an Aussie in the old dimensions, so it's really wonderful to have one here too. That's true. Thank you for helping us feel at home. The other two aren't happy with what he is putting on the table, but what he's putting on the table is true. It's true. It's an inconvenient truth. That's true. But it's true. And they're not arguing, they're just not happy to see it. It's like, oh dear. Yes. There's that. Well, that does have to be dealt with. Yes, that's the attitude. And again, I see the top. Yes. And the top is broken. 
Yes, it's in come dry. apart. It's come apart and the springs are sproined. Yes. It no longer works. That's true. And therefore it must transform into the bird. Well, I feel pretty bird-like. Let's have the intention that this foil fulfill its purpose, fulfill its destiny, become yes. that which it is destined to be. And if it turns into a sonar-seeking organ, well, wonderful. Yes. It's a seeking organ that works via sonar. Yes. That's true. So what is sonar? Sonar is sound, bouncing sound waves off of something. That's true. How may we be of service That's to serious. trigger the awakening? Okay, the goal is to be able to fly at night. That's true. Fly at night. That's true. When there isn't light. Well, I feel like a sparrow, which is very much a bird of the day. Yes. But the goal is to learn how to fly at night. That's so true. So what flies at night? Bats. Um, bats and owls. Bats d use sonar. That's true. So perhaps we transform from a top into a bird and from a bird into a bat. That's possible. It's possible. I'm going to hold that as my working theory and try to get there as fast as I can. What do I know about bats? They can fly acrobatically really well. That's true. Ah, That's true. Got it. Got it. So what issues do we have? Well, we have issues with people topside who are wishing to fake it. That's true. And we're, uh, that our perception is that is completely unhelpful to the awakening process. Yes. And our perception is that while we were at top, we could knock them off by just slamming into the wall mm. periodically. And That's it would true. work. But when we're a bird, it's harder. We're not built to take impacts. That's true. And therefore, as a bat, these acrobatic maneuvers might be a good substitute. I'm going to head in that direction because no one said, no, you idiot. Yeah, no one said. So in my thinking, I'm heading in that direction. And now I'm starting to see the mountain side. I'm looking through some evergreen type branches. Yes. And we seem to be um, uh, making our way from the midway camp to a, a vantage point so that we can look up. We're yes. We have to we have to stay here overnight and then start again in the morning because our our the two people who have joined us need time to integrate today is it's too late to start up the mountain today it's true uh it's too late to continue our climb up the mountain today yes. we wouldn't be able to get to summit camp no that's true would it be safe so we'll start again tomorrow at daybreak. Someone, and it could be Armand, has like a compass and a map. That's true. But I'm just looking at my book. book. Like you can use your compass and your map book. all you want, but I'm not going to be distracted by that. I'm going by what the book says. That's true. The book always works, whereas those other things work sometime. That's true. We seem to be arriving at camp and our fourth member, who we now know his name is Jacques, and before we called him the guy, the guy um, he is he lo looking much better. He's much looking better. recovered from the hypothermia episode that he experienced after staying on the mountain at night in cold, yeah. wet clothes. I need to talk with Armand, who we previously just labeled Luce's number two guy. That's true. And who has made it up here on his own. That's true. As did Shock. They both made it here on their own. That's true. But Armand and I need to have this discussion about the flash of light, the phosphorus experiment. Because my perception is he's willing. That's true. And the book says now is the time to, to just put all the cards on the table. Yes, all the cards on the table. That's the exact phrase. What am I supposed to say? To start with the foundational intention. Yes. My intention is always to do what is mine to do. And right now,
My soul contract calls for me to take focused action like a heat-seeking missile, doing what is mine to do to trigger the awakening right now that nothing else matters more. And I have jettisoned everything else from my life. And this is what I'm working on 24-7 and has been for a number of years. It's true. And, uh, and that it has my full attention and my full focus and I live for nothing else. That's true. He's nodding, and then I kind of pause to give him a chance, but he's still not playing any cards or speaking. That's true. And I say that it has transformed my life. I asked the book what to say, and, they, and the book said, say something personal. What has this meant to you personally? Yeah. This has transformed my life. I am not the person I once was. That's true. And my experience of life is much richer, fuller, more real, more vibrant than I could have possibly imagined it to be. That's if someone had told me how I would be living, I would have said that it's impossible. It's impossible to live that way. But I would have been incorrect. That's true. And I now know that. I know what it is to live multi-dimensionally. For real, not for pretend. And I know it's a teachable, learnable skill and anybody can do it. It's true. And that almost no one is willing to do what it actually takes, which is to simply wish to do what is ours to do. That's the true. secret is, all we have to do is actually intend to do what is ours to do for real, not for pretend. Not some weird manipulation trying to get source to do things for us. That's true. But actually asking in every moment, how may I be of service right now? What is mine to do right now? And for me, because our, my soul plan, like so many of these out-of-body beings, yeah. have the soul plan to trigger the awakening and to do it right now. That's true. When I focus on that, life gets beautifully simple, incredibly focused, and comes into vibrant color. Now I pause again. And he starts to put out a card. That's true. And it's a card about his own personal journey, which has been very difficult. That is true. Difficult start. Difficult childhood. That's true. Many painful experiences in the formative years. That's true. Things that happened that turned his head around and got him heading backward. That's true. But there inside of him, Something was always there that wanted to excel. And he almost didn't care what he was excelling at That's as true. long as he was excelling. Armand, do That's you know true. that I hear your thoughts? And he says, what did I just think? I said, I believe that you thought that you think you found a friend. And it is true, you have found a friend. He smiles. Yeah. So... Armand, we have an opportunity, you and I, because the phosphorus experiment, the flash of light experiment, requires two willing but dissimilar participants. That's true. Who are willing to be consumed in the process of transformation. And I myself cannot imagine anything more glorious and to be consumed in a process of transformation. That's so I true. am in, 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 in. How about you, my friend? How do you feel about this opportunity? He's into it. His reasoning is different. He's saying he wants to excel. He wants to be something who would do what no one else would do. That's and he true. says he sees how long I've been sitting on one side of the seesaw. I think he said seesaw. Yes. Uh, but it's a different word that means seesaw. It's like a, a French word that means seesaw. Yes. And he has known for a long time that the other seat needed what it needed. He has been aware of what was necessary in the other seat. And he sees how no one is sitting down on the other seat. That's true. And so he sees how he has the chance to excel, to be the first. That's true. At something. That's true. To be the, to be the first. He says, he asked me, do I know who Roger Bannister is? 
Yes, I do. Roger Bannister was the first to run a four-minute mile. <laughs> he says, exactly. But Armand, it's important that we define ourselves as much as possible as polar opposites because the experiment actually calls for two dissimilar participants. It's true. So while uh, we are friends f in and we have much in common, it's important to define ourselves for purposes of the experiment as differently as possible. That's true. And we can find many ways to do this and this is a fun game that we can play but right now my time is up.